All right, what is going on, everybody? Uh, excuse, excuse the hair this morning. It's it's an absolute mess, <laughs> and um, precisely the reason why I kept it short for so long. But it's nothing. A little bit of water and a hair tie can't fix. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. So I'll put my head up, up this way so you can't see that. But anyways guys, um, this morning I've got a couple of hours free before I need to go to work, which is great. I'm going to make the most of them. I'm cooking up some protein. Um, the way I like to do it is I like to have protein on hand all the time, like in the freezer, in the fridge. Um, cooked protein sources, whether that be chicken, fish, steak, uh, turkey or kangaroo, all of those meat sources I use. Um, at the moment I'm cooking up chicken breast and kangaroo meat so I'm going to cook up a kg of chicken and a kg of kangaroo and then keep it in the fridge and as far as protein amounts go that's probably about probably about 450 grams of protein all up so that will definitely cover me for today tomorrow and probably a little bit of the next day so that's that's perfect um, today is going to be back day I've just made my breakfast smoothie which is right here and it's a fucking monster. And we've got probably about two cups of milk, um, a cup of oats, we've got one banana, we've got a cup of frozen berries, and we've got a scoop of protein powder, as well as my creatine as well. So I'm gonna get this down, I'm gonna cook this, this uh, chicken up in kangaroo, and then we'll be off to the gym to train some back. Beautiful day here, I gotta say, as per usual. But uh, just before I do head off, guys, I'll show you the meat, which is now cooked. So one kilogram of chicken breast, one kilogram of lean kangaroo meat, and that's gonna go in the fridge, right over there. All right, guys, what is going on? It's Jacob here. We're down at Anytime Fitness, my preferred fitness facility at the moment, and we're hitting a back workout. Now, today's back workout, went as per usual. Um, I actually did a, probably a little bit more volume than I'm used to. I did four, four exercises today. We did a pull down movement, we did a rowing movement, we did a seated row movement, and then I did a pull through movement. So the first exercise today, I actually mixed it up. Usually I'll go over to something really heavy um, and compound like, something that I have to bend over for. So, you know, things like a deadlift, a bent over row, even a, even a really heavy seated row. But today I decided to test my strength. Um, you know, first exercise, you're not fatigued whatsoever. So I went over to a pull down and I tried to do PB. So, and I did, I was quite happy with it. I did 97 kgs for sets of 10, five sets of 10. This is the final set that you're seeing, which is a, a double drop set. So we did 10 reps at, uh, what was it? Uh, 97 kg then I dropped it down to 67 and did another 10 like you just saw and then we dropped it down to 40 and did another 10 and um, you'll notice that uh, as the weight went as the weight got lighter my grip went wider um, this is just this is for no other reason than to just mix it up and make sure I'm hitting every single muscle fiber in the back um, in this particular exercise and get the most out of the exercise before I move on, which is a key that I keep telling you guys. So it was five working sets and that was the last set on that one. Then I went over to a bent over row. Now I, I was using Versa grips today. I don't know if you guys know what Versa grips are, but they're basically a strap and a piece of rubber that you then um, put over the bar and, and use it just like a strap. Um, I went, I used Versa grips on the, the pull down movement and it was fine. I went over to the bent over row and it actually felt like shit. It was slipping out of my hands. And that first set that you saw, I only did three reps and I had to drop it. And I was feeling, I was actually really pissed off because I had to go outside to my car, I had to get my straps, I had to fuck around. And, you know, it, it really put me in a bad way. But then I got my straps, came back in and busted out a good set of 10 reps with 100 kilo. And, you know, I was happy with that. Uh, from here, that was the first set. I think this might be the second or third set from another angle. Another 10 reps at 100 kilo. Um, you'll notice I, I bend down. I am, you know, a, a taller guy. So 
I, I try and make sure that I keep my back as, you know, horizontal as possible. It's definitely, it's not going to be fully 90 degrees, but it's pretty damn close and I'm pretty happy to be honest. So my form, the way I do it, I sort of drop the bar, it, it goes slightly under my knees. Um, I'm keeping the tension on the lats the entire way down, keeping that, that arch in the lower back, which is extremely important. And, um, and you know, the, as, as soon as the bar goes below my knees, I pull it back up. Um, keeping the tension on, like I said, the whole time, and that's how I like to do it. Um, this is this is pretty heavy for me. You know, I had I hadn't done a, a 100 kilo bent over row for a couple of months, and it went up all right. It went up pretty good. So this is the final set. Um, once again, a drop set. We did 10 reps at 100 kilo. This was the fifth working set. 10 reps at 100 kilo. Dropped it down to 60, and just repped it out. Um, for as many reps as I could but at this point guys my lower back was actually getting uh, a little bit inflamed a little bit sore so um, I was quite happy that this exercise was over to be fair but um, after after the bent over row so so yeah I mean as I, as I lighten the weight um, I don't need to I can sort of control it a lot better which is you know it's only natural obviously lighter weight you're going to control it easier but you know, to progressively overload and get the most out of the movement, I had to up that weight. And um, at the moment, guys, 100 kilo is definitely my, my working set weight. So following that, we went over to another rowing movement, which was a seated row. Now, seated row, I will use all sorts of attachments. Today, I just chose a close grip because I'd already done a bent over row with a, with a slightly wider grip. Um, if I hadn't have done a bent over row, I probably would have used a neutral grip, similar to the close grip, but uh, slightly wider. I like neutral grips to do things. Even on the lat pull down, usually I'll grab the neutral grip bar. Um, shoulder width, you know, I, I, I don't feel like the conventional lat pull down bar is actually the best. Um, I don't like my hands facing forward. I like them being on the sides, like like this close grip attachment that you see. Um, but but yeah, it was uh, another five working sets, as per. Um, this is probably one of the middle working sets. I don't think I did a drop set on this exercise actually. So it was five working sets. I had to drop the weight because I'd already done two exercises. You know, to put it into perspective, if I go into the gym and just start smashing seated rows, I'll be able to do them at 97 kilo. Um, today, because I'd done the two exercises beforehand, I had to drop it down to 77. Now that is a bit of an ego check, but it's what you gotta do. And if I was, if I was gonna try and pull 97 kgs, um, it just it wouldn't have happened and my form would have been completely out and we've gone with a bit of a lat spread there and um, Final exercise guys it might might look like I'm doing something a little bit funny here But you will see it from another angle shortly, but these are uh, straight arm rope cable pull downs or pull throughs and It might look like I'm targeting the triceps, but I'm certainly not I'm targeting the lats um, as my arms come up I'm really feeling the stretch along the lats um, keeping the tension on there, you know, time under tension is absolutely key for me, whether it's heavy or lightweight. This is a relatively light weight exercise, but form is extremely important. And um, today I'm using the ropes. You can use bars of, of different types. I'm using the ropes. I like to keep my thumbs uh, pointed up or, and around it, so I don't actually like to hook hook my, my whole hand around the rope. I like to keep my thumbs um, like a hook grip, if you know what I mean. I don't like to wrap my full, you know, I don't like to grip it like I'm like I'm clenching my fist. I like to have my thumbs um, over the top like a hook. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, so I'm using 17.5 17 kilos for this exercise. And, um, and that was it, another five working sets. I think this was my last set. And uh, we're, we're hitting you with another lat spread because I felt quite quite wide I felt quite good at this point and uh, you know that's that's how I feel after every back workout um, I feel amazing to be fair backs always been something I've enjoyed training even from the start and um, I urge you guys to do it too so there you go four exercises five working sets per exercise 20 working sets an hour total and we're done Stranded, reaching